What's in the box, man? What's in the f***ing box? So this is gonna be a weird episode of What's in the Box because I've actually shot the episode already, but then I remembered I wanted to include something else in it after the fact. So I'm filming it again now, so I'm probably wearing like different clothes for part of this episode. And then another package came in today. So I decided to just do these two things and sort of splice it into the video. So if I randomly change clothes or something like that, just bear with me. I'm not, I'm not really a smart man when it comes down to it. But what's going on, folks? Welcome to another episode of What's in the Box, the best unboxing show on YouTube. I'm RGT85. Sometimes you guys like to spoil me with stuff, and I open it live so you guys get my reactions. So the first thing we're going to show off today is the August-September issue of Pure Nintendo Magazine. Now, why would I be showing off a magazine? Magazines are cool. I love print. Uh, I happen to know a guy who's in here. So yeah, I'm actually featured in this uh, episode of Pure Nintendo Magazine. Uh, with really cool interview I did with one of the guys there. So I just wanted to show this off. Make sure you guys go check out Pure Nintendo Magazine. They have a website and they also have an online magazine and they also have a physical print magazine. If you do it through their Patreon, I believe it's a lot cheaper to get the physical print. So I'll have links to that in the description. I just want to give a big shout out to the guys from Pure Nintendo Magazine for interviewing me. This is, you know, awesome. It's, it's awesome to see me in a freaking magazine about video games. Uh, the first package is from... England, maybe? Looks like England. Looks like there's a queen on there. I don't know. I think I know what this is, though. Um, I believe I talked with the gentleman on Facebook about it. Dear RGT, sorry for the late posting, but I've been busy preparing my wedding, but better late than never. Okay, dude. You don't, don't have to, like, put your wedding to the side to send me something. Anyway, enjoy the games. Keep up the great work. Who knows? Maybe one of the retro expos out here will fly you out as a guest speaker from Adam. Adam hooks me up. Ooh, okay. We've got uh, Saturn Power number five with Wipeout 2097. We've got uh, Saturn Power number one, which is the demo disc that has Tomb Raider, Swagman, Blam, Machine Head, and Fighting Force. Did Fighting Force ever come out on the Saturn? I don't think it did. And the crown jewel of this. Okay, you don't have to throw in other stuff. We've got Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition on the PSP. I love this game. I used to play that game so freaking much. Uh, DJ Max Portable 3 on the PSP? Dave is a DJ now. There's, there's something interesting. Uh, Motorsport Arctic Edge? Mysteria. The Blade, The Realms of Lore? And Dragon Force 2 English Translation. Super cool. Thank you so much. Are these Stridex pads? <laughs> Thank you so much, buddy. I appreciate that. Um, I didn't expect you to throw in that other stuff, though. So that's cool. We did talk about Dragon Force, but not that other stuff. All right. Next up, we have a package from Steve Adams in Arizona. Sean Long via Acronel. Acronel. We all know Acronel. Crazy Acronel craziest man in the world. Aha! Very cool. This is a gaming capture device. Um, nice and simple device. You hook it up uh, really small, easy to hook up uh, RCA and component. So that's super cool. I always like having more capture devices because I can never have enough capture devices. So thank you, Acronel. I know that came from you, buddy. Next up, we have a package from Brandon in Granite Falls, North Carolina. Uh, Brandon hit me up on Facebook when he saw the Super Famicom and uh, Famicom that I got and said that he wanted to send me some goodies for those systems. I only have like one, I got a couple Famicom games actually. So this will be fun because I'll have no idea what any of these are. Sean, I hope you enjoy the games and get use out of the AC adapter. Yes, thank you for the AC adapter. I appreciate the advice you gave me when I started my channel. This is my way of saying thanks. Keep it up with the great work. Thanks again, Brandon. BP Retro Power. All right, so we have, okay, I know what this is. Tag Team Pro Wrestling on the Famicom. We've got Super Power League 2, but it's Hudson Soft, so that's cool. Ooh, Super Donkey Kong. Funny story, I actually have Donkey Kong Country uh, 2 and 3 on the fam Super Famicom, but not the first one. So now I have that. So that's great. Um, <laughs> uh, an Irem game? I like Irem. 
Mojong? Mahjong? I never know how to say that. I like these cases, though. These cases are dope, dude. An empty case. Perfect. I'll put my kid Dracula in that. Uh, Dragon Ball. And, ooh, very cool. Super Mario Brothers 3. I like that. And a massive power adapter. This is great. You can use this as a weapon and, like, knock someone out with it if you have to. Thank you, Brandon. I appreciate it, buddy. <coughs> and the final package comes to us from Thom. Tom from Georgia. TH. <gasps> it's a Christmas present. It's even wrapped. This is great. I'm glad I saved this one for last. Yes! I've always wanted these! Comfortable fit diapers! So now I can just sit on the couch and just take a dump on myself and play games. I think there's something inside of this though. I don't know where I put my knife. And that's dangerous because that means I'm probably gonna step on it at some point in time. So we lost the knife, so we're going back to the old trusty screwdriver to open up my fresh diapers. Christmas time is here. Time to put away your fear. You need to go listen to the new uh, song by Billy. <gasps> Ooh, I see something cool. I'm not gonna look at the titles though. So there's a letter. This is some very nice penmanship. Hey, Sean, I've been watching your videos since around October. Really enjoying them. Great stuff. My wife has been trying to get me to start a YouTube channel because I've been a gamer since the second gen. She thinks I can make some good videos, but I don't know. Still kicking around the idea. Dude, just do it. Like, you'll, you'll have fun with it. I hope you don't mind, but I sent you a friend request on the Switch. I also want to send you a few things with my collection, which I'm trying to pare down a bit. I hope you don't... Uh, okay, I got your gamer tag now. Uh, I hope you don't have any of these. The figure of Ryu I've had for years until my daughter laid claim to it. She lost interest after Link became her obsession, so she wanted to give Link to a good home. So at any rate, keep up the awesome videos. Thank you, Tom and Emily. Oh, wow! Oh, this is tight! This is dope. I like this. I like this a lot. Whoa! Okay, I don't, I, I'll tell you, I probably don't have any of these games because this one's a heavy hitter right off the start. Dude, yes. So we've got Wonder Boy 3, The Dragon's Trap, which got the remake on the Switch that I actually played. I do have Shinobi, but now I have a box copy. I don't think I have a box copy of Shinobi. I don't, and now I do. And Alex Kidd, The Lost Stars. I actually don't have any Alex Kidd games. So that's super cool too. My master system's pretty weak, but uh, obviously this is this is big right here. So dude, thank you so much for these. I always like the master system games. All right, and then the package is actually from someone I know. It's from one of my Patreons, Matt, who's a huge supporter of the channel. I can't thank him enough. He said that I was really gonna love what's in here. So I was very excited to open it. I didn't wanna wait and you know wait to open it. Um, it came from Amazon. There was actually a problem with it. I had to like, go uh, yell at the uh, post office box today because they, they didn't like do it properly. So let's see, let's see what old Matt boy got for me here. Oh, wow. I love these. I've always wanted one of these. So this is the um, the Figma figures for Sarah uh, from Virtual Fighter. And she has like the polygons like she's supposed to have. That's awesome. Like she's made as polygons like in the original game. Dude, that's super cool. Oh, dude. And he got the uh, Akira one. That's awesome. I love these. These are so cool looking. And they have like different faces so you can uh, make them poseable and stuff. Yes, dude, this is awesome. I love it. Whoa! Undisputed Street Fighter. The art and innovation behind the game-changing series. Dude, what? wow, holy crap. Dude, this book is legit. This is awesome, dude. Dude, this probably is so expensive. I see the price on the damn thing. Oh, wow, dude. It shows like the origins of the series and stuff. Dude, this book is awesome. I'm going to read this tonight, like in bed. 
with my f cell phone as a flashlight. Dude, this is awesome. Thank you so much, Matt. This is crazy. You didn't, I know this, I know these are expensive, Matthew. I know these are expensive, but thank you so much, buddy. Um, I'm, I'm blown away right now. I can't, I can't wait to read this book because this, this book just looks awesome. It looks awesome. I'm RGT85. There's a knife on my floor somewhere, and I'll probably step on it and rip my foot open. But thank you guys so much for these gifts. I truly appreciate them. And yeah, if you guys ever feel so inclined, I'll put the PO box up on the screen. Of course, you don't have to send anything. And all right, I'll catch you guys next time. Later. RGT.